good afternoon or good evening when this video gets to you today uh, from Yami B TV. Uh, wishing all a pleasant day. Hope the day's gone the best it possibly could. And um, we're going to get round to some bit of storytelling mixed with what's coming as well. Um, firstly, I'd like to apologise to uh, Medusa. Not me, not, well, apologise as in uh, something that was said but was taken out of context. Uh, Medusa's been with me a long, long time. Uh, haven't had many conversations with her, but I know she's one of mine. Uh, one of mine. She's been there a long, long time. And, you know, she said something that, you know, wasn't quite clear. But what she actually meant was that the policeman was a wrong one, you see? So, yeah, but I mean, you know, name calling, it's all part of the journey, isn't it? You know that with the life we've led, you know you're going to get people that are going to slag me off. <laughs> you know, wrong and grass, nonce, whatever. You call me whatever you want. <laughs> I know there's no facts, so it don't really matter to me. You know, whatever they said and he said and she said, it doesn't really, it's not that really important for me uh, that way there. But uh, Medusa, just big you up, sister love. And, um, yeah, I'm just reaching out to you to let you know that I fully understand, all right? And a lot of my followers do as well. Because, you know, with me, this is more like a family channel. Um I'd like to big up also uh, Richie and Patricia uh, up there in Bristol, uh, my family as well. We're always watching uh, intensely. <laughs> I love you all down there as well, Rich. Yeah, big up, my boy. Um, but yeah, Medusa, man. Yeah, don't worry about that. Sorry, just a little bit of misunderstanding, that's all. Uh, but I've known you, not known you, but like I said before. But um, yeah, further from this morning, uh, I was telling you about my boy, Ovi, who was my partner in crime, uh, sadly, during those dark days of the Cates, you know. And uh, not a lot said about uh, the unhidden truths about the real truths, about uh, certain things that have gone on there that we've witnessed with our own eyes. And <clears throat> just to let you know, coming on the A Factor podcast, uh, any day, any day now, uh, Ovi uh, has made an appearance. 19 years, right? Six-year tariff for robberies and kept him in there. You know, like I said earlier on, condition diagnosed as a schizophrenic right uh but testament to this man uh who's got so much love inside of him uh how you could have held on to a man like that with no help and support for all those years is beyond me uh so glad to be reunited with him from yesterday uh really you know and that's down that's obviously because him and my nephew quincy are family uh like that but, um, yeah, so that was the story, the Laura and Hardy uh, story of the Hitman thing when I got knocked out or knocked down, right? So, all right then, we'll take it to the top. It was Sunday morning. Uh, me and Ovi was opposite each other in Long Larton. Uh, in Long Larton, you got the night sounds. Uh, where you have to press a bell, where there's no uh, toilet sanitation, and there's a few prisons still like that now. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we had our heads together uh, for no good reasons. Uh, but, you know, at that time, uh, he was an enjoyable partner for me, as in doing badness kind of thing. So, Ovi, very, very strong. Uh, doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> He's really, really funny. You lot are going to love him. Because, you know, a schizophrenia, diagnosis, Broadmoor, Rampton, Ashworth, you know, whatever it is, you know, where you've been and all through the cat A's for all them years and years and years, right? This guy is seriously intelligent. So, again, we talk about the mental health. We talk about that we, we think that it, it could be this way, it could be that way and that way. It doesn't mean that. It don't, don't, it don't mean that. It just means a part of them is not quite right. But this guy, my brother and my little nephew, is full of love. And when you see him, you're going to be touched by him. Remember Uncle Yami told you this, right? And he saw things like I did that have never been told before. So, yes, yeah, sorry again, going on. Right, so it was Sunday morning. We was both hungry, bored, uh, upset, 
you know, he like locked off from the outside world, all the feelings that go with it, uh, like that. And we came up with a plan. We we got our heads together in the morning and we said, yeah, and he said to me, Uncle Yummy, so what are we going to do today? It's Sunday. I don't want to bang up without nothing. Right. We come out. All right. We start socializing. I'm lurking as usual. And um, oh, the, uh, a man comes across and he says, um, yeah, I mean, there's a bit of work, you know. Uh, you interested? I looked at Ovi. Ovi said, yeah, I'm interested before I could even talk. So I said, what? He said, oh, I want a guy done. Look, I've got this up front. Blah, 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 blah. All right? Ovi said, yeah, 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 taking it straight away. But the person they're talking about, I kind of liked. <laughs> I don't know, it's always the way with me, isn't it? I know. Uh, oh, shall I give his name? <laughs> Shall we just say Jonesy, not his real name? All right. So, anyway, I heard that and I thought, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I don't really want to hurt him, that kind of thing. So, what they were paying, the usual shit about, you know, 20, 30 quids, free up front, another free afterwards, and all that kind of cosmolop, right? So, we, obviously, you agree to anything at the time, especially when your bank got to go behind the door and you ain't got nothing kind of thing. But that's the kind of life it was. We we, we know about my story, right? So we plotted the move. We're planning, we're thinking, we're trying to get uh, Jonesy upstairs to the association room where there's pool tables, table tennis tables, and it's quite, quite large. So there's always a, a, a large con congregation when uh, association, when you're let out from, say, uh, in the morning, 9 to 11 or 2 to 4 in the afternoon. You know the prison regime already. Or if you don't know, you know now. Uh, so we're planning and planning. We've got upstairs. We've called Jonesy out and he's come upstairs. So me, being the silly hitman that I was, uh, I said to Ovi, knowing his condition and blah de blah blah blah, I said, what I'll do is I will grab Jonesy and then you hit him. You know, <laughs> little did I know that, hold on a minute, it should be Ovi because he's got more strength to me, even though I was a strong little beast at that time as well, uh, holding him and probably let me do the punching. But the truth was, I like Jonesy. I didn't want to do the punching on that day right so we got upstairs we called jonesy out i lifted him up like that you know when you get someone in a bear hug and you lift him up and just as i lifted him up because i explained to ovi what to do i said to him as soon as i lift him up just hit him lay him down on the floor sadly uh for viewers purposes uh not for children this as well not to glamorize or nothing like that but just to give the rough insight into what it's like in there uh, and what do you expect and what you don't want to go there and to, to, to see yourself and feel yourself as well. So I lifted him up off his feet, lifted him up like that. Poor Ovi. He hit him as I lifted up his head. His head came down slightly because I didn't hold on to him tight enough. My heart weren't in it. And Ovi hit me instead. <laughs> So I feel, all I can remember is falling backwards, like falling backwards, sitting on the floor. And I looked at Ovi. Jonesy was turning around in disbelief, right? The whole room was packed. And I sat on the floor, not knocked out like that, but a cow, if you like. Right? So I looked at him and I said, why Ovi? <laughs> and he said, oh, sorry, Uncle Yami. <laughs> so we got up. I know it's, it's funny now when you think about it. Uh, I got up and we, we carried on doing what we was doing, but we didn't hurt Chansey. And then um, uh, some like some little kickings like like that, like like to make it look good. But we wasn't like thumping, thumping, thumping because it wasn't that kind of thing. But it was just so funny that Ovi, <laughs> Ovi mis misplaced his punch, and you know it's kind of Laurel Hardy moment. But while I was on the floor, we got back up, and whilst we was doing a little tapping. Uh, towards Jonesy, uh, Grego from Manchester came in, Salford kid, uh, great geezer, uh, well respected Grego, I really liked him, probably the, the smallest, hardest man that I ever met in the Cat 
being brutally honest. And he walked into the into the association room and said, Yami, stop, leave him, I like him, please leave it, blah, 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 blah. But because it's Grego, and because obviously I'm thinking about the payment, but then I realised the payment for what it was is done already. So as soon as Grego said stop, we basically stopped and we all walked out of the room. <laughs> we went downstairs, but uh, yeah, just reflecting a bit uh, with old Ovi. Such a such a lovable boy. Uh, we went downstairs. I had a go at him. Uh, he he was he, he's he's just the way that he is, uh, and that was that really. Um. Oh, hold on. Oh yeah. So sorry. Yeah yeah yeah. Coming up on the Eight Factor podcast soon is um uh Ovi telling his story basically, and when you hear this, you will hear uh, the gates open. Trust me. From Erskine to Peter Bryan. In Broadmoor to Peter Sutcliffe, you know, you know he saw his eye and everything, and Charlie Bronson as well. Bloody hell! Uh, but he saw all that in those institutions, as well as obviously in the Cate prisons itself. So yeah, that's all to come, and uh, wishing you all well today. And uh, Medusa, yeah, big yourself up, and um, Daniel Foster as well, uh, big yourself up as well. Uh, Angel, thank you for all your support. Uh, I'm going to try and get back to you a little bit later, but I'm um, sending loads of love, uh, enjoy my day, uh, and I'm just letting you know what's coming, all right? Uh, thank you again. I'll see you soon.